Welcome back to Metal Magic. Today, let's talk about step drills. Hi, I'm Paul Dye. One of the things that you have to deal with when uh, building an airplane, a metal airplane, is drilling holes larger than about a quarter inch. If you have a drill index like this, open it up, you'll find that the largest drill inside is a number one, which is just slightly smaller than a quarter inch. But many times you've got to drill a hole that's bigger. Why? A lot of it is to install grommets so that you can run wiring through your airframe. You'll have a lot of these holes. The way to do that is to use a step drill. The step drills are very, very convenient for working through uh, aluminum sheet metal. It gives you a wide variety of, of holes you can, hole sizes you can drill, and uh, they're really easy to use. So let's start with uh, a pilot hole. And a pilot hole, we're just gonna use, so a number 40 will work just fine. We'll put that in. This is just to give you something to center the drill in. We're just gonna put it right in the middle of this sheet. We don't need to deburr that because we're gonna immediately up drill it. We'll put that drill away. Anytime I'm working with my, with my uh, drill index, I only have one drill out at a time so that they don't get mixed up. So we're gonna put in this plastic grommet, which if we measure it, comes out to 5 8 inch diameter. You've got two different sizes of step drills. You've got the long, narrow, skinny one, which goes up to about a half inch. And then you've got the little bit wider, fatter ones, which will go up to uh, seven eighths of an inch. So if we go ahead and, and take a look at this and figure out the size we want, the numbers are kind of worn away on this particular one. So I think that is five eighths right there. And to make sure that we stop where we want to be, we use a Sharpie. Now, you can talk about, do you want to mark the size that you actually want to be, or do you want to mark the size that's one size bigger? It doesn't make any difference. In my shop, I always mark the size that I want to be at, and I drill until the color goes through the hole. And it's not important how you do it. There are people who do it the other way. You just want to make sure you're always consistent, or you're going to end up with oversized holes when somebody else visits you and uses a different technique. So I'm marking this all the way around. I'll put on some safety glasses because step drills make a fair, no fair number of chips. And then we'll start working our way in. I like to stop and check along the way, just see how it's doing. Those of you with a keen eye are gonna notice that this is a different step drill. That's because I discovered I was using one that I have been using for fiberglass. If you have a brand new step drill, use it only for aluminum. Once you start using it for steel or for fiberglass, it's gonna wear, it's gonna get dull very quickly. So my rule is if I can still read the numbers, it's probably a new one, it works well on aluminum. But if you can't read the numbers on there anymore, it's probably one of the older ones and it's gonna do a pretty lousy job on the aluminum. So now we have the right, the right newer one here. We'll start, start working our way up to the 5 8 size. Now, one of the really neat things about a step drill is that you can use it to countersink. If you can get to the back side, not countersink, excuse me, deburr, because uh, it'll make a really nice polished edge on both sides um, because you get the chamfer of the next size. So now we have a really nice 5 8 inch hole and we can take our grommet, click it in there, and you've got a place to run wires. Thanks to Aircraft Spruce for sponsoring this series and thanks to you for watching. Oi.